everyone to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, my co-host is Bricky, and he is going to be hitting us in the face with some ridiculous Warhammer 40k lore. But before he does, if you enjoyed today's episode, head on over to the Patreon at patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous and consider supporting the podcast. You get access to bloopers if they happen, more importantly, the Discord, where a lot of crazy cool people hang out, uh, and just, it's, it's a good time. Also, so there is, I believe there's a new poster. Uh, it's the the Zinch bird, but it's an anime waifu with big boobs, and it's great, and you should absolutely check it out. Uh, also, Patreon goal, if we hit 17,000 there, we will do an episode on the fan theory, the Dornian Heresy, where apparently Dorn goes heretic and all the roles are reversed, and yeah, patreon.com slash adeptusridiculous. Bricky, tell them the other things. You know, should we just bite the bullet and say we'll do fucking Blood Angels at 17k? Ooh. Maybe we should just do it. You, you know what? There's nothing There's nothing more fun than ransoming Blood Angels from our fans. You want your fucking Blood Angels? We'll hit, we'll hit that next goal. I, I'm, play, I'm they're putting my foot down. Blood so Angels. Is that, that going to be a double goal where we do both of them? Or is it just going to be the Blood Angels? Eh, sure. We'll make it a double goal. Fuck it. Who cares? I really want a Blood Angels episode because I think they look cool, but I know nothing about them. I just think the vampire thing is cool and Sanguinius was best boy. So, yeah, I, mm hmm yep. But it's so bizarre. We're getting, like, all these new, all these new patrons, like DK Account 3, DK Account 5. Like, it's so bizarre seeing all these new names coming into the discords. <laughs> what you talking about? I mean, great choice of name, though. Um... I can I can say with full confidence that DK is a great name. So. Yeah. Do you have any bias? No. 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 Good. No. Good. No. All right. I gotta talk about merch. Merch. Hey, if you were not around for the Word Bearers episode last week, we got brand new fucking merch. Mm. We got little guy collection. You like the little guy meme? Shy doesn't, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting paid from it, so she has to begrudgingly sit there with that stupid fucking anime face that makes like the puffed up cheeks and like the like the lip to the like the mouth to the side, you know, that, that thing. It's, yeah, it's it's the Spy X family meme, but yeah, that's fine. Is that is that what that is? Yeah, it's from Spy X Family. Are you sure? Isn't that the anime you said is, is absolutely fucking terrible and you hate everyone who watches it? Yeah. I said it Twitter blew it way out of proportion and overhyped it. I said it was shit. So I wanna make this clear, DK, that you believe that's that DK do you DK Diamantes believe Spy X Family is shit. Yes, that is true. All right, I'm, I'm much. I, I I like when you know the more comments we get, the more uh, the better our videos get engagement. So you know we gotta push that shit out there. Um, oh, also, man, I'm gonna get skewered. <laughs> also, the uh, so the little guy collection. Yes, new shirts, new hoodies, four separate types, and a poster print, all for sale now. Orchidate.com. Check out the description. We also have another poster for sale, as we mentioned last time with the uh, jacked out Karn. Uh, we are selling the Zinch Bird anime poster that DK uh, so lovingly mentioned earlier. Um, it's got big boobs. It's got big boobs. Uh, the usual as before, 50 of them with text, 50 of them without text for this month only. Check it out, grab one if you really want one, and then uh, next month we'll rotate it into the next poster. Nice. Yeah, that Zinch lore to change anime girl is actually really good, though. I, I'm i a big fan. I Not just because I, Big Boba, but it's actually just really good. I begrudgingly in, uh, like appreciate some of the posters because the art, the art is obviously well done, despite the fact that I find it, you know... It's 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 an it's it's anime adjacent, so I I understand your your trepidations. Is that the same trepidation you had when you told every Spy X Family fan that they are a hard right winger and they hate America? Whoa! <laughs> I just say that I may have said Spy X Family was shit. D DK, what, what, what about that time oh, yesterday? Why are you trying to get me canceled? I what didn't about, say that. What about that time yesterday when you came to my house and you were like, Bricky, Bricky, I need a place to hide right now, okay? I just beat to death three Spy X Family fans, and I, I just, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. And then you, okay. then you, start, then you start crying because you're like, the anime is so bad, Bricky, I had to do it. Okay, your story mostly checks out, except for the part where I left my house. So... <laughs> Um, also, right. me beating anyone to death is highly unlikely. You had those new Voton gloves. 
Ooh. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Rock they and they were doing. stone. They knew what they were doing. They, they knew what the they were doing. Those sons of bitches. They know what the fuck they're doing. They know exactly the audience they're getting with those Voton mm -hmm. minis. Yep, they know. We all know. We get it, GW. We get it. All right, DK. I'm gonna go ahead. Let's get their. Uh... Let's get that. <laughs> okay. Let's, easy, let's, get that, let's get that. Let's get that quote going. All right. Oh, All right, man, and then we get, then we were, can, then we can return to you shitting on the fans of that show. Oh man! <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's see. Um, uh, shit, where my quote go? Um, there we go. Oh, <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, oh, well, I'll, I'll ask my quote. Let's continue shitting on them. Oh, oh, what? What? Uh, uh hello, hello. Do you do you have the quote? Yes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Just want to keep making a meme out of my disapproval of Spy X Family because Twitter overhyped it. Excuse me? What? Yes. All right. No, I got the quote. Okay, cool. 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 Um, <clears throat> I personally believe them to be warp tainted and therefore in need of the purging flame. But whilst they fight as allies of the Imperium, whilst they bring destruction to the foes of mankind, well, their destruction remains a low priority for me, at least. Brother mm. Cargos, Knight of the Flame chapter. Um, that kind of sounds like some Eldar shit. Um, just because, like, they're like, oh, yeah, they're totally warp tainted. So that's that's totally Eldar. Uh, it wouldn't be Tau because the Tau don't really have a big warp presence and they're not really warp tainted. So I'm assuming Eldar. Eldar also like to, you know fuck around with chaos and you know mess him up those are the enemies of man see it's got to be some kind of eldar shit like maybe uh I, I don't i don't know we've talked about most of the eld we've talked about craft world we've talked about the drukari um I, I don't know there's there's some eldar facts that i don't know about that we're gonna talk about that's what i'm going with should i post the image of bugs bunny saying no what is it? What is it? What is it? What's, it is something that you would have never guessed in a million years because you just don't know about this. Uh, so, oh. but, so it was more just to make fun of you as you make fun of Spy X Family fans. Um, so <laughs> this, is gonna be, this, is, this is the new meme I'm forcing this onto. Is the, oh, this shit. is the new meme I'm going to force onto you, all right? All, all right. right. It's, it's just like how Jerma fucking hates Imagine Dragons. Right, I, Shai? Really? Oh, yeah. He hates Imagine Dragons. Jerma. It's not that hot take. That's not that much of a hot take, though. He hates Imagine Dragons. If you ever ask him, he'll be like, God, I fucking hate that band. I hope they all die. It's pretty crazy. You know, Jerma's based. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that, that is extreme. Hoping that they all die is a little over the top. You know, Imagine Dragons, not a fan of their music. I'm, I'm fan that, of the meme. I'm mad but... that Shy doesn't get my reference, but it's okay. Oh. Okay, I don't. I don't watch Jerma. So that's all right. You should watch Jerma. He's he's like he's an, he's like somehow blends millennial and Zoomer humor. I don't know how he does it. I've seen clips. He seems like a very funny guy. Uh, he but he yeah, certainly is. The stream, so. Did you know he's the Zodiac killer? A uh, what? So today's episode is on the Legion of the Damned. The Legion, the Legion of the. The Legion of the Damned. It is what if you wanted Space Marines, but they're Ghost Rider. Oh, you've told me about them before. With Ghost. the flaming heads. That's yeah. Right. You mentioned them briefly and how cool they looked. Oh, yeah. It's, it's if you If you wanted to be like... You had to go with an edgy contest, and you didn't want to go anime, and you didn't want to go like Emo Boy. You went with these motherfuckers. Oh hell yeah! Let's go. The Legion they are very edgy of the damned. So, the Legion of the Damned are a Space Marine chapter, sorta, kinda, not really. The best okay. way to describe the Legion of the Damned was actually a playable group of minis back in seventh edition when I was like eighteen years old. You know, Man, that long four, ago, huh? Four hundred years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, back then, when I played, Legion of the Damned were a playable force. They no longer are. They have been relegated to something they call Legends, which is like discontinued things. But um, they, still, they still have rules if you want to use them. But they're like not really that they're not around. 
No, they're normally not great. Well, they, I mean, I've seen their seen their fucking codex this time around, and they're not bad. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, they they basically the Legion of the Damned is this group of space marines that there are a couple possibilities for what they could be. Their official use in canon lore is a bit mixed. Uh, like for instance, there's I mean, you can't use them on the game anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. But they are still, I do believe, canon as a group. But they're a little bit, like, iffy. They're a little wishy-washy with their canonization of them. There's a lot of, like, I don't know where they're from. Like, this is a possibility for where they're from, but... Mm. So, the Legion of the Damned are supposed... Well, one of the canon theories is that they're very similar to Celestine, where they are an Imperial demon... Ah. And they are they are okay. warp tainted Astartes, and so if you look at their appearance, for example, they are covered in general black armor and lots of like bones, bones and skull masks and skeletons and flame. Yeah, they they definitely do. They they kind of they they do look chaosy. Oh, extremely chaosy. The only reason they don't is because they don't have like those spikes. They tend to be very like still smooth, mostly. Just like just, my brain. Hey, we share a brain cell. Rattle them, boys. Um, but besides the wreathed and flame type thing, they're they're definitely appearing to be warp tainted in a way. They've yeah. got a warp effect to them, and when they come and fight, for example, they'll just burst forth in this cloud of flame and smoke out of fucking nowhere, and they trudge Damn. their way through the battle. They'll like have guns that will fire at them and just just not hit them. You just go right through their body like a specter. They'll fire oh, full, shit. like flaming bolts through their guns. And if a weapon ever does hit them and does a decent amount of damage to them, they kind of just keep on trudging. And when their battle is done, you might like someone who was saved by them might look away and look back and they're just gone. Or they might like fizzle shimmer out of existence. Damn, they sound kind of OP. I'm assuming on the tabletop they are assuredly not that OP. Uh, but damn, they sound they sound hard. Well, and the tabletop there, it's kind of bizarre. I found their their data sheet from Legends, which is a basically yeah, it's like where the old stuff went, but they reclassified it for the new edition. And everything they have is pretty pretty okay like they have a basic space marine stat line everything about them looks like a regular space marine they have regular space marine weapons bolt guns mm -hmm. and shit um they're flaming bullets they fire out of their bolt guns with apparently ammunition that a bolt gun should never be able to carry in a single magazine so it's like they keep on firing uh that like ignores cover which is whatever the biggest crazy thing i noticed on them was they have a thing called a three up invulnerable save which is really fucking rare in this game the only people who have a three-up invulnerable save are like Kaldor Drago and oh. and like a Harlequin Solitaire and oh. not much else. And all of these guys have that? And they all have that, yeah. So they're really wow. fucking tough. But they're um they don't really like they're just basic ass space marines, you know? Yeah. I'm assuming that's to go with the idea that like they're almost like a cloud of smoke. With like uh, bullets passing through them and making them kind of sort of spectral, so they have a better invulnerable save. I think you, you gotta look at them more like ghosts. Ah, you, like you legit gotta, specters. Gotcha. Like a like a paranormal deity that that comes in to bring the emperor's justice as like a haunting specter and then disappears. That's um, really cool. That's a really cool idea for him, though. There, there's a lot of possibilities for their cannon. Some believe that they do not rest in the warp, but they re rest <clears throat> in this weird purgatory between the warp and material space. Some say that they have a, a warp contagion that breaks their sanity down, and they can use the warp as a power. Um, their, their bones on their body and their insignias do not match any known chapter on record. So they all, they're not a prior chapter, oh. at least not... Yet, we, we'll talk about the possibility of their chapter in a sec. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no, like, specific ins insignia that involves as many bones. There have been times where, like, a titan will fire at a bunch of fucking marines, and the marines will all just die, but the Legion of the Damned dude just keeps on walking. And yeah. sometimes, sometimes he dies, sometimes he doesn't. You know, it's like, sometimes you can punch a ghost hard enough, it'll, it'll get punched. <laughs> 
if I punch hard enough, I can even kill a ghost. Uh, but you said there's like a warp purgatory that they could reside in? I didn't know that was a thing. I don't think it was... is. It's like a ghost. It's like a ghost story. Ah, so it was just something that was kind of conveniently made up to try and explain the unexplainable space marines. I think the Legion of the Damned are actually a very well-known entity. It says that they're known across the galaxy, which might mean that even the regular person knows about them, but they're like... Because the regular Imperial citizens know about the Astartes. They all sure. know about the Astartes. They may not have met one, but they yeah. know about them. Hopefully um, they haven't met one, because uh, if you're in an area that needs a space marine, you are probably fucked. It's a very good point. Or you're like a slave. Or, or like, a, like a... Not a slave. Oh. Like, a, like a worker on a ship. Yeah, don't want to be on those Astarte ships. Those those guys get into some trouble. That they do. And they um, don't care about their slaves. <laughs> well, for the Chaos Boys. It, well, yeah, that's true. Well, I, I guess regular Space Marines aren't regular that nice. Regular probably don't to, either, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, they just don't kill them as willy-nilly. But mm. they're, they're more like a, like a ghost story where the Imperial citizens will have, like, the Legion of the Dam will burst forth and they'll, they'll, they'll smite the enemy's foes and then, like that, they're gone, you know? Yeah. A little ghost story. How do their uh, how do their minis look? Cause like with the whole uh, wreathed in fire and flames, do their minis look uh, any different, or are they just kind of space marine minis, and you have to customize them yourself to make them look like Legion of the Damned? I think that Legion of the Damned were a mini. Yeah, here here we are. I just found some. Um, they were a set, but they were old Forge World fine cast. They're very old. Oh yeah, those are just kind of yeah. yeah. I was I was I was kind of hoping they had their own set that was actually like like they would have armor pieces that like had fire on them or something, but they just painted little flame marks on them like they were fucking uh, a Harley Davidson motorcycle or something. So very often people will like fucking love their uh, their Legion of the Dam. It's a very popular faction in terms of like people just think they're cool. So they get a lot of kit bashes from that kind of thing. So then you get people who make shit like this. Whoa. And, and like, you, you just get them covering them in, like, blood and gore and flame. And you have, them like, wreaths, almost look like, like iron into the sets of the forge, you know? Whoa, that second one is so dope. Holy shit. Yeah, so like people themselves might make a Legion of the Damned kind of army themselves. Well, they'll throw a bunch of bones on them and get some fire decals and really, really give it a good look. Some, you know, to go hard to that Ghost Rider skeleton head. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll have play people who would do things like that because they like the Legion of the Damned. They think they're badass, and you know, they just may not run them as Legion of the Damned, damn, but they'll still run them in a way. Yeah, they are badass too. From everything I've seen so far, they're they're dope as hell. Yeah, a lot of artwork for it. They, they, they're they meant to look really, really menacing because they're supposed to look like skeleton ghost, ghost rider looking dudes. Yeah. Um, well, who's this, who's this fucker that Shy just posted that had the fire halo? Or is that just fan artwork and not actually like a... That's, that a looks like notable... fan artwork. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if that was like a notable like uh, Legion of the Damned commander that had a special thingamabooble. I, I must admit the... Um... What is it? Uh, the often when we have awesome fan art, we can't show it unfortunately in the uh, in the yeah. stream or on in the, the videos. Episode, yeah, because yeah, it's like fan art stuff and you yeah. know that kind of thing. So if you ever if you ever wonder why an image might not change viewers, that's the reason. Yeah. Um, but often the Legion of the Damned have this ability where whenever they have the usual kind of thing where hey oh my god, we're about to die, we need someone to help us, and then they burst into flames and they arrive. You know, they have they have a very, oh, okay. like, saves the day when they need to kind of thing. It's um, kind of like what the custodians do, where it's like, well, I guess not necessarily. Where if, like, the custodian has someone they have to protect, they just bloop out of nowhere and appear and save them. Oh, the Aquilin Shield ones? Mm-hmm. Um, sort of, kind of. They act more like bodyguards there, but it's more to state that the Legion of the Dam might have some kind of premonition where they can ah. uh, they can see the future in some way and then know where they got to be. The Harlequins kind of do a little similar doodad to that. Um, a really a nice funny, power to have. A really funny thing is that recording devices, like cameras and shit, that capture the Legion of the Damned on video are, have effects of being like, like nearly traumatized by the viewing. And so it takes out like the machine spirits will not give up their foot like their footage willingly, 
So Mechanicus guys have to like coax the machine spirit to get their footage of the Legion of the Damned. That's I kind of love that that the the machine spirit is traumatized by the Legion of the Damned and won't give up the footage. Yeah, it's like they, they get all spooked. <laughs> I'm so scared. It actually is really funny. All things that considered. that actually is pretty funny. Yeah, it's and it's almost like uh, what is it? Vampires don't show up on camera and ghostly figures don't show up on camera or whatever. Is it vampires can't see themselves in a mirror? I thought they also don't show up on film. You might be I know right. they can't see themselves in the mirror. You're right about that. I, uh, you might be right. I don't know. Um, I could be full of shit, too. Huh? You could be full of shit. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Plausible. It's quite plausible that you are full of shit. <laughs> Um, but, yeah, having the ad mech coax the machines to get them their footage back is, is a part of the, the process so they can get some, some viewership of the footage and, and, and know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, that was kind of like what the Imperium knows of the Legion of the Dan, The little ghost story kind of deal, their whole thing. Now, here is the uh, surprisingly in-depth backstory of them. Um, I didn't think they had a real backstory, but there's quite a lot to this. And so while it still might be allegedly, it's uh, got quite a lot going on to it. So, okay. Um, humorously, there's a, a quote here. It says, they warrant further investigation. That much is certain. Their modus operandi bears similarities to that of certain individuals we consider of extreme importance. It is not unheard of for those lost to history to appear in a state that bears little relation to their original appearance. Given post-mortem aspects readings, it is clear they have advanced telekinetic capacity, presumably psychic in origin. Upon stasis capture, I recommend extensive questioning with a quarantine null zone performed by gifted interrogator chaplain still attired in full battle plate. Brother Amadeus of the Dark Angels Chapter Elite First Company, the Death Wing. Damn. But she is very, I think he's very obviously referring to the fallen in this situation. He's like other individuals. Mm hmm. I kind of love how they're just like, a, they're, they, they almost exist like a ghost story. I kind of love that. And they're the Legion of the Damned. They look, uh, they look like flaming skeletal specters. I like that they're just one big ghost story. It's also fun because often when it comes to ghost stories and horror movies in general, the more you explain, the worse it gets. Oh, yeah, definitely. That, that is a, a common factor. You try to over explain the monster. Uh, like you just got you got established rules with your story and leave them. So I'm not sure if these if this little backstory here we have is actually um, better or worse for them, but they have a backstory regardless. <laughs> so. All right. All right. So originally they are believed to have been an old chapter known as the Firehawks. And the Firehawks were a, I assumed to have been successor chapter of uh, the Ultramarines. Um, though it wouldn't be surprising if they were Salamanders, considering how flaming they are. But it's assumed that they are Firehawks. Okay. And the Firehawks were sent over to deal with a whole bunch of Eldar being fuckers. Um, because that's what the Eldar do. They've been doing it for many years. Yep. Being fuckers. Um, and they eventually went to go do a warp jump. Oh, not far away at all. Like less than half a day, maybe. Okay. And they never went through. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yep. They never translated back into real space whatsoever. Oh, oh no. That's very bad. It's very bad. Yeah, very bad. 20 years later, the chapter was oh. officially declared uh, Perdatus, lost to time. Um, there's a, actually it's something I never mentioned before, but there's this giant bell on Terra called the Bell of Lost Souls. And it tolls <laughs> whenever one of the... Uh, St uh, Adeptus like fallen heroes die or I believe so it must ring a lot I was um, gonna say does that bell ever stop <laughs> I don't know but it rang a thousand times so you know oh. big bong <laughs> yeah ba -bong. Big bong day and night day and night so th they are just gone yeah now a bit ago a bit later about uh 23 years later there was an Imperial Navy patrol passing through a little system held by orcs, but just checking out stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. And they were about to do a jump point. And right when they were about to do the jump point, their uh, scanners immediately said, weren't, 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 no, wait, fuck, stop. Don't do it. There are objects in the way. They're like, what the fuck do you mean there's objects in the way? There's no objects in the way. What the hell? You, what, what? I and can so they, see. There's nothing there. And so they scanned the jump point, and they found two 
long cylindrical objects in their path. Wow. Not not big. Not big ones at all. Okay. Um, like uh, well, they, they were hauled aboard and they actually were found out to be coffins used oh, for no. starship burials. No identification markings whatsoever, but they were shipped back to Terra and opened by the Canicus. And the coffins were belonging to the Absolute, which is one of the spacecraft from the Vanished Firehawk fleet. Ooh, spooky. Inside like of the uh, inside of it were two uh, were the were two suits of armor of two space marines, but their armor uh, seemed to be members of the, of the, uh, the lost chapter of the Firehawks, of course. Mm -hmm. But the bodies inside were human, but identification was impossible due to how far they had decayed. The oh. armor colors, though, and an insignia was very like confusing as it did not match any records. However, the serial numbers on the armor and the equipment made it so that it was issued to the Firehawks by the Mechanicus. Okay, okay. So I kind of appreciate just two floating coffins in space. That's kind of fun. They're just Yeah, there. I mean, it's a space burial, you know? Like, uh, like in Star Trek, where they just send them out in a torpedo and just, bye-bye. Hermes, don't press that button. Burp. Oh, it's when they were gonna, when they were gonna like get sent out into like into like the sun. Oh, and he's like, I, I know that's a Futurama reference. I, yeah. I don't I don't recall the exact reference though. Sorry. I like that just because Hermes is looking to press the button to eject them all into the sun. And he like <laughs> he like actually thinks about it first. Like he's like, hmm, maybe I should. Okay, and he just doesn't doesn't eject them. Um, but uh, within half an hour, a couple hundred orcs had gone to the, uh, or sorry, um, let, me, let me rephrase that. A year later, there was a research huh. station. I, I was confused. I, I had the wrong tab. Gotcha, yeah. Um, years later, a research station was being attacked by orc free Buddhas, and then they were attacked from the rear by these mysterious flaming power armored figures with all these skeletons and bones on them. Oh, and nice, then nice. they left behind a banner that had the chapter banner of the Firehawks, and inscribed upon it was a High Gothic motto, which says, uh, and I'm bad at pronouncing this, but you know, whatever. Um, whatever yep. Indicato Imperatum Ultra Articulo Mortis, which is for the Emperor beyond the point of death. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, so you know, spooky for the emperor beyond the point of death. Spooky. That's so a good say. it's a very good say. So it is assumed that after the, this banner and stuff were shipped back to Terra as well, uh, it is assumed that they went through some kind of metamorphosis through the warp. Obviously, yeah. So uh, what eventually happened was that they found a recorder. Uh, from, I forget exactly from where they found this recorder, but they found a recorder, shipped it back to Terra uh, after the Legion of the Dam had saved the research station from the orcs, and it apparently set, found the truth of what happened. So following their jump, the Firehawks were caught in a warp storm, really bad warp storm, and a bunch of their ships, and like almost all of them, were destroyed in this warp storm. Uh, you know, Yikes. killed or demons murdered them, whatever, you know? Yeah, it's a warp storm. You get, it's a warp storm. You, you, you fuck around and find out. Yeah. So one ship made it out. A single ship made it out super fucking off course, even farther than the light of the Astronomicon, like way at the edge of space. And after the loss of the, this fleet, the Firehawk in the ship numbered 200, all of the gene seed had been destroyed. All of it. All, Ooh, of, that's no all of their initiates were killed. They, they, they had like a mobile fortress monastery, kind of like the Imperial Fist do. Um, yeah. and like, I think they, they raided the Fortress Monastery for Gene Seed in, in the Night Lord's book. They had a mobile one, and that one got destroyed. Um, Ooh. chapter officers were gone, none of the humans survived, and all of them had been mutated by this intense exposure to the warp, where their skin would begin to blacken and blister, and their flesh would begin to like, putrefy and like, like, fester a bit. And they began to, well, die. To this weird like warp disease so oh boy 
It was not fun to be a firehawk. No, it, it, it's it's no lamenter, but it ain't great. No, no, yeah, <laughs> it's no lamenter, but what is? No, it's no lamenter. It, saying this, no, lo, uh, no lamenter, no, no low mentor, is uh, it's, it's it's not a high bar to reach. No, that's a low bar. Well, at least we're not lamenters, but we've you know got warp disease. So so half of them died to this warp disease. Uh, but the ones who survived were were not quite sane anymore. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> uh, their 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 pain and like sheer level of pain and despair of this disease made them just really screwed up in the head. And because they're doomed to this horrible d death, they kind of become they became obsessed with the idea. Like they kind of want to die, but they're still space marines. And they're still loyal to the Emperor, oh. so they're like, okay, I want to die, but I'll die for a fucking purpose. Uh, so they got a little bit of Krieg in A little in bit of Krieg in them. <laughs> they got a little bit of Krieg well, in them, just no shovels. A little bit of Krieg, no shovels, no terrible gas mask jokes, but a little Krieg in them. Yeah. No nukes. Uh, I guess this time the nuke disease is, is just warp taint. Just warp taint. Yeah. So yeah. they go on out and they fight the Emperor's fights like this. Maybe secretly wanting to die, but fighting their damnedest in an attempt to, you know, still save the Imperium from its enemies. Sure. Um, and so now they have this similar theme because they're so obsessed with death of bones and skeletons and flame and fire and read their armor and this kind of stuff. There's no hierarchy. The chapters, officers are all dead. They're just kind of a group. They just fight. Hmm. And since they're... That's... That's kind of cool that they're just like a group and there's no hierarchy and there's no leader. They're just like, yeah, we're we're just a I don't want to say they're a hive mind or anything, but yeah, they're just a just a group of people that got tainted by the warp and here we go. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, they're just they're just a group that are ready to to go do the emperor's bidding as spooky ghosts. Uh, apparently there's the, the concept that they use the emperor's tarot, which have we ever talked about the emperor's tarot? Uh, no, I don't think so. The Emperor, uh, I'm just assuming the Emperor playing with tarot cards and reading people's future. And You're not wrong. That's about what it is, but not quite. Um, it's, okay. a, it's also known as the Imperial Tarot. It's a pack of 78 psychoactive liquid crystal wafers that are supposedly... What? Yep. <laughs> I'll, repeat, I'll repeat this. A pack of 78 <laughs> psychoactive liquid <laughs> crystal wafers... How is something a liquid crystal wafer? Dude, this is 40k. Come on. What the fuck? This is 40k. So. Well, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That are linked to the psyche of the emperor of mankind in the warp. Uh, okay. All right. Ah, shit. DK's brain's broken. What's wrong, man? Did you watch yeah. too much Spy X Family? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Something about a liquid crystal just is... I, I, I can't wrap my head around A liquid that. crystal crystal wafer. Oh, yes, it, it is indeed. A, like, if it was a crystal wafer, I could get it. But something about it also being liquid is just... I don't know. It's it's stopping my brain functions a little bit. But go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just going to imagine these crystal tarot wafer cards. Uh, basically, what, they're, what they are, since they're psychoactive and assumed to be, like measure with the emperor himself his his psychic ability they're meant they're used to foresee the future much like regular okay. tarot cards are meant to perceive the future in some way um sure. but this time there's a little bit of a psychic aspect to it so it's got a little bit more uh a little bit more of a mm, legitimacy to them then i was gonna say, say it's a little more a little more credible since it's coming from the emperor and he can actually you know see it uh, shy says dk you know where you can see liquid crystal on your liquid crystal pc display also known as lcd is that actually what that fucking stands is that actually for? what that stands for i don't know. lcd stands for liquid Shy's crystal display laughing, holy gosh. fuck really holy fuck oh my god i'm so stupid Jokes on you i have a plasma actually i'm not sure what my mom i definitely is. do not have a plasma I, I know I paid a lot of money for my monitor, so... Oh, ooh, oh, big man on campus here, all of us, with uh, his, with his yeah, toilet yeah, made of yeah. gold and his, and his fucking dead... 
Damn, he got me, everyone. Li wow. Whoo, man, how will I ever recover? Holy shit. Woo, Bricky with the hot fire insults. Man, that insult was so fire. No wonder we're talking about it with the Legion of the Damned and all their flaming armor. Holy shit, got him. I, ac I accidentally fat fingered my <laughs> mute button when I said dead. I was going to say dead Spy X family fans, but... It just, oh, ed it just ended at dead, and then you then you were on a roll, so I didn't <laughs> want to stop you. Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> More like Legion of the Dam, he got you. Damn, yeah, Legion of the Dam, got you. Alright, anyway, th we're stupid. Um, just two apes throwing mm. shit at each other. Uh, and then Shy's yep, there to clean it definitely. up with a zookeeper. Yeah, she does a really good job of cleaning up, too. These episodes turn out almost comprehensible, so... Almost. Well done, Shy. Well done. Well done on the end. Um, but yes, the, they assume that the Emperor's Terror was used by Legion of the Damned in order to find out where they are the most needed and attack the enemies uh, of their, you know, foes. Yeah. Got yeah. it. Dead. Got it. Dead. dead. Kill him dead. Kill, kill him kill dead. Kill Send in the ghosts. <laughs> Send in the ghost marines. Send in the ghost marines. The ghosts of de the angels of death. I think not. Actually, that, that's not the worst. <laughs> that's not the worst comparison. You know, angels. If they are so, anyway, um, they are definitely warp tainted in their own right. Now, if we're if we're taking the concept of their warp contagion, their disease is certainly Nurgle sounding, pain and despair, oh, yeah. and yeah, it's very Nurgly sounding. Um. Definitely. Yep. If these are indeed the Firehawk chapters, as it appears to be, you know, it's a pretty cool way, I'd say. I don't think it really ruins them overall. No, no. I think it makes them kind of cool because they, they're they they're like the ghosts of the Firehawk. And, and it's hard to tell also, like, what exactly is pushing them forward? Is it, are they the Emperor's demons? Like the Emperor is helping them out because they are, they're obviously warp tainted in a way. But, or do they just have warp-based powers now and they use it on their own volition? Because they obviously won't be accepted back into the Imperium. No way, no how. Oh, yeah. With with any sort of warp taint, if they tried to get back into the Imperium, they'd get... I assume they'd all get just executed. Yeah, the Dark Angels would have a field day. Oh, yeah. And so because of that, it's like, okay, well, we obviously don't want... They obviously don't want that. They don't feel like that's an acceptable situation for them. So sure. now it's like, okay... What do we do? Well, we're warp tainted and we got all these fucking powers. Let's just keep killing off more and more of the Imperium's enemies and let's we'll go from there. Huh. So, I guess it's just now dawning on me since we had this conversation about, like, oh yeah, they can't return to the Imperium because warp tainted. Obviously, they'd get. <coughs> um, so, uh, Jesus Christ, excuse me. It's okay. I was dying. Uh, they're not actually getting orders from anyone. They're just going around being like, does that look like a threat to humanity? Yeah, let's kill it. And they're just kind of vigilante outlaws that are just doing their own thing and trying to sort of help the Imperium? Yeah, in a sense. <sighs> huh. That's kind of crazy. It, it certainly is. It's It's got a cool aspect to it. Yeah, they're like, they're vigilante outlaw ghost rider batman faction vigilante outright outlaw, outlaw. ghost rider mm -hmm. batman. Batman. batman ghosts faction on fire on fire on fire well i guess that comes with the ghost rider part actually sorry well they, they kind of yeah they have a bit of a snake in between um yeah but no motorcycles though that's so. Yeah, and I mean, like, that kind of is the thing. That's why there's not a whole lot of lore on them overall. There's a couple of battles here and there, you know? Um, there's, like, the, there's the idea, or not the idea, there's the couple of battles, like, oh, they have this thing called the Pyro Cataclysm of Villadad Prime, and the Doom of this, that and the like Great them. Bastion of this, and a prize denied, and all these fucking names of battles that, you know, GW loves their crap of that kind of yeah. stuff. I, I'm assuming they don't have any, like, Dreadnoughts or anything like that. Um, they're just they're just space marine troopers that are just like, well, we're on fire and we're warp tainted. Let's go fuck around and help mankind, I guess. Yeah, I believe so. They they were around recently. Yeah, during the uh, Black Crusade, during the Fall of Cadia. 
Um, oh, well, I guess everybody probably was. Yeah, it, that was all hands on deck. And then not only that, but they were around quite a lot after that because the warp rift caused a lot of goddamn problems. Oh, yeah. I bet they would. <laughs> they probably found a lot of work after the uh, the Eye of Terror just <laughs> split open. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, apparently, it says... I'm looking at the chapter organization, and they normally have a lot of tactical and devastator squads, which is regular squads and heavy weapon squads. They have bike squads as well. It says the Astartes, the Legion of the Damned, have even seen to make use of some heavy support elements such as Rhino, armor personnel carriers, or a venerable dreadnought. Hey, Legion of so the there Damned? is a Legion of the Damned dreadnought. dreadnought. Okay. Is the dreadnought on fire too? Most likely. Hell yeah. You know, that, that'd be such a cool dreadnought. Just covered in skulls and fire and it's it's a warp tainted corpse thing in there oh that'd be so cool you know i uh i actually i was talking to a buddy of mine when we remember, remember when we were talking about the white scars and the idea that we just remove their dreadnoughts legs and just give them like two treads just have the like yes. i'm just imagining that but like but like th having some back to the future flames being left behind in their tracks from the from the Legion of the Damned. Oh, hell When this yeah. baby hits 88 miles an hour, you're going to see a lot of dead heretics. Fuck yeah. That'd be so cool. It's all painted up like a hot rod. Oh, hell yo, yeah. Hell yo, yeah. Hot Wheels. Just get a, get a bunch <laughs> of real life Hot Wheels minis and stick some Legion of the Damned in their, in their driver's seats. <laughs> That's what the dreadnoughts are. They're Hot Wheels. The hot Legion of the Damned dreadnought. Hot I mean, I guess wheels. the Rhinos Let's go. be a Hot Wheel. Well, well, actually, wait a minute. Legion of the Damned, you make use of bikes. They have bike squads. They have actual like, oh, bikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, you said they have bike yeah. squads. They, they're Ghost Rider Hot Wheels. Let's go. Get some, get some big ass, like, choppers, motorcycle-looking things, you know? I can't say choppers, choppers much because the, uh, because they have the orc choppers. Yep. Whose chopper is this? It's Zed's. Who's Zed? Zed's dead, baby. Uh, so who, who's, Zed's dead. Who's, whose bike is this? Like, it's Chopper, baby. <laughs> whose Chopper is this? It's Zed's. God, God damn, Bruce, Bruce Willis. He's the best. Zed's dead, baby. Zed's dead. So I'm glad Zed's dead. Zed... Oh, God. Yeah, Zed is going to suffer a painful, most deserved death. Just like the en enemies of the Imperium, DK. Mm -hmm. What? They deserve to die. I'm, well, are there any enemies in the Imperium that don't deserve to die? I think the, I think the uh, Eldar could, could maybe be okay. Yeah, they don't always end up slaughtering the Eldar. Sometimes they work in tandem with the Eldar, you know. The Necrons are kind of cool, why, uh, but they're kind of, they're also a little racist. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Tower, well, Tower were okay until, uh, Tower's you know, like still okay. that they were brainwashing yeah there's the far side enclave that don't deserve to die i, I think i don't right? know why i didn't think of tau initially maybe because i just don't think of tau much in general because they're blue and stupid wow i can't believe you 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 would talk about the eight like that i didn't the eight is colors in red remember far side enclaves well yeah but they're they're still tau so they're still blue shh, shh, shh. idiot no, shh, it's okay and and I mean, just look at Torch Star's abs, dude. No, that's not canon. <laughs> that's totally canon. Why can't that be canon? You don't know. She has abs. I'm sure. It's, what? Come on. Uh, could... And she's got she's got a fire bikini, uh, right? Isn't that canon? Oh, maybe she's a Legion of the Dam. The fire bikini, you know. Ooh, okay. There's the flames. Hey, let's go. Well, she is on fire. I yeah. And yeah. Yeah, she sure. will be on fire by the time Legion of the Dam are done with them. <laughs> That is true. The Legion of the Dam would probably show no mercy. To Absolutely not. They would. They would set them ablaze with bolter and stab. Which actually, speaking, speaking of the weaponry they use, like they do operate like a pretty regular Space Marine chapter with their weapons. They just have weird ass shit. Like they still use like bolters and, and heavy weapons and melters and flamers and swords. But they just have a, a little bit of extra thing. Like I would not be surprised if their swords were on fire, and their bolters are firing oh, yeah. flaming projectiles with magazines that should not be that large. And you yeah. Know, Shit like that will happen. Mm, flaming chainsword. Flaming Hell chainsword. Yeah. <laughs> the multi. That's so fucking metal, dude. The multi melta that is even more melty than normal. <laughs> 
the, oh my god, the melt is spewing fire while it is also itself on fire. There's a microwave gun of flame. <laughs> the flamethrower like is firing that. flames that are even more flammable. <laughs> I like the flaming flamethrower, yeah. It's, that's good, that's good. Mel it's it's literally melting in their hands. Like, oh god, we gotta hurry, the melt is melting. It's too hot. I, it's too much fire. Did, I, did ah! you see my, uh... My my Twitter post about that Iron Warrior and his gun. No, I did not. Oh my god. Look at this gun. <laughs> oh no, I did see that. What is what is well, that? Well, let's start with the fact that it's belt fed. Uh, it's attached to his arm. It has a teeny little magazine on the front. I was going to say it's belt fed, but what's that, what's that magazine on the front it's, for? It's also got a flame throw, multiple flamethrower canisters. It's got like a stabby part on the top and then a chainsaw on the bottom and a pointy needle in the middle. In the middle that'll never hit it's anything. A rotary what cannon? are you ever going to use What the that? fuck is yeah. that thing? That is, that is, you are right. That is the most chaos -y GW Ultramarine, not Ultramarine. That is the most chaos -y GW Space Marine weapon I have ever seen. I kind of forget that like, I forget sometimes that Iron Warriors are, are not just regular marines that look like iron warriors because they're less tainted than some i forget that they're actually pretty fucked up sometimes yeah like look at that that guy is oof, boy there's a lot going on there that, that is a that is nightmare fuel anyway man and all the fucking attachments and jesus christ anyway dk what are your thoughts on spy X mm. family uh, oh, I guess we're perpetuating a meme, so I find it to be incredibly shit and distasteful. Weren't you the guy who said that you really liked the, uh, um, what was that one dating anime? That one? You're gonna have to be more specific. What was that one where it was like, uh... <laughs> you know how little that narrows it God, down! You're, that's so right. Uh, you're fucking dead. God damn it. What's that anime you said you liked recently? The anime that I said I liked recently? Oh, 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 uh, Rent a Girlfriend. Rent a Girlfriend. Oh, no. So, DK, Rent a Girlfriend, you're a big fan of, right? I mean, I, I, I enjoy the manga, yeah, sure. I wouldn't call myself a big fan. All right. All right. All right, I, I, I've set the stage. I've created, I've created the, the, the firing line. Oh Bullet. boy, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get absolutely fucking annihilated by any anime fans that we may or may not have for calling Spy X family fucking shit for saying that I unironically like Rent a Girlfriend. I'm going to get absolutely roasted, dude. Do you know who else got roasted? Uh, all of the Legion of the Day. Exactly. All right. End the episode.